Hey, what's up, makers? Trevor here for Love Make Share, back in the shop with Whistler tonight. Hi. And we are talking about this stuff. Whistler, what's that? Graphite powder. It is. It's the same kind of stuff that you have in your pencils or that you use as a dry lubricant on uh, mechanical parts. And you know what else we can use this for? It turns out you can use this to do some pretty cool metallic finishes. So let's take a look at what you've got there. What's in your right hand? So this is a badge, it's a Star Trek badge, and that's what it looks like when it's painted. But I've also done a little bit of mold making and casting recently, and we'll do videos about that. Can you throw that mold down? So there's also that nice silicone mold, and then I cast it up in a black resin. Toss what's in your left hand up there. All right, so this, is cast in black resin. This is a uh, smooth on, smooth cast onyx. And this came out of the mold black and shiny. Uh, this casting didn't quite work. So I tried some graphite powder on it. And I, I also roughed it up quite a bit because like I said, the casting didn't work. So I gave it some battle damage. And then take a look, take a look at how shiny that is. It's like black chrome. It's super cool. But that got me thinking, if black looks like that, what other kinds of finish can we get? Shall we find out? Sure. All right, let's grab these. These are some uh, just yogurt bottles and I've hit them with some spray paint. This one is a glossy white. This one is a matte gray. And this one is a probably shiny black. Yeah, so gloss, gloss, matte. Shiny, shiny, not shiny. So here's what we're gonna need for this. We're gonna need our samples, white, gray, and black. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need the graphite powder. Uh, we're gonna need some safety equipment. We're gonna put on a dust mask. Because this is a fine metal powder, so we don't want to inhale it, right? Nope. Masks on, awesome. Next thing we need, some gloves for you. So these are vinyl. These ones are uh, nitrile. So we'll put on some gloves. Mine don't fit as well as yours do, but... No, yours are a little big on your little hands, but that's fine. That's my fault. My hands are little. <laughs> oh, struggling. You know what? I don't want this in your eyes. But you're wearing glasses, so... You're I'm wearing fine. glasses. You can put those on. Uh, probably don't want to make a huge mess. No. Nope. And if we spill any, we're going to want to be able to collect it and use it again. So let's put down some craft paper. There we go. Sure, why not? The last thing we need is up there to your right, and it's a little paintbrush. And by last, I mean second last, because we're also gonna want paper towel. some paper towel. So yeah, it's just a gray, a gray powder, see? I can't really see anything, my glasses are fogging up. Your glasses are fogging up a little bit here. So how about we start with the black, because we already kind of know what that's gonna end up like. So I'll hold this, you take the paintbrush, okay. yeah, and just dip it in and start painting it on. So now, we can just use our fingers in our gloves and just kind of rub it in. And that's when you start to see the really, really shiny surface start to come in. Look at that. And it starts to get this really beautiful, this really beautiful dark chrome look. Compare that to just the gloss black. It gives it a much more metallic look. So that's black, but it's too dark, right? Yeah. Most metal is not dark. Like, this is just a bit of like aluminum rod. It's lighter than that by quite a bit. So let's see if we can apply and polish out a shinier metal surface on this. So see, even though we're polishing it like this, the graphite isn't coming off because of those sharp little particles. It's actually sticking in 
and making a very even, fine layer over the entire thing. So this, that's pretty cool, actually. That matte surface has gotten really quite shiny and metallic. You want to do a little more? Let's get right to the end of the paint. That's cool. That's almost like a... That's not like a chrome on the matte surface. Yeah, it's not the same, but it's definitely cool. You know what? I bet you we could get this even shinier if we did some additional layers. I actually quite like that finish. That's super cool. All right, let's try the glossy white. So part of this is painted and part of it is not. So let's make sure that we get the side that is painted because uh, we want we want the paint on there for the graphite to adhere to. So let's let's really get in there with it. Mm, it's very glossy. I don't know that I would necessarily call it super metallic, though. I mean, kind of. It's more metallic than the matte, but... Mm-hmm, that's, that's still, true. It's still very metallic, just like it was. Yeah. And you know what? I bet you if we spent a little bit more time with this and polished it up a little bit more, it would keep getting more metallic like the more we put on here the more metallic it becomes. yeah I'll say this the black in real life definitely looks the coolest yeah and it went from being glossy to having a really shine. quite metallic shine in my opinion like it's reflecting things in a way that it just wasn't before. It's almost like a little black mirror. I mean, all of these have taken on a really crazy shine. I think we should come back and try a, a gloss gray to see how that looks. But this one, like anytime you add a little bit more and polish it up more, it really does get increasingly metallic. So the trick here might just be in subsequent applications. Like, like that's pretty cool. That started looking like that. And with just a few minutes of work, we created that finish, which is very cool. But the black. Yeah, let's, let's hold all these up here so that people can see the differences. Wait, where's... Yeah. Just give them a little move around here in the light. I bet you gloss is almost a little too much. Matte is almost too matte. I bet you something in between. Like a little bit of gloss and a little bit of matte? Yeah. Like a satin sort of finish. Maybe. Would be right on the money for this. <laughs> That's cool. Your hands are the most metallic thing here. <laughs> let's try let's try a little bit of this. I'm gonna go to town on this white for just a minute. Do you wanna I can help. Wanna try something as well? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. You know what the secret ingredient is? More graphite. <laughs> I was going to say patience, but yeah, you're right. More graphite is a secret ingredient. And patience. And patience. So yeah, the more we start to add, you can really see the difference on the camera. The, kind of the stripe in the middle that has gotten more metallic. Like, wow. Compared to that metal over there? Yeah. You want to compare it to the. That's maybe shinier than this. <laughs> yeah, this. It's, it's definitely cleaner than this because. But, like, look, this is about what we had before along here, and that's after adding more. 
Okay, if you rub it too hard, it does rub off a bit. But then, I bet you you can just kind of polish it back up with more graphite. Okay, so gloss white will actually give you a pretty shiny chrome finish. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's cool. It's, it's very black, but it definitely has a metallic quality that it didn't have before. My so favorite let's see. is the white. My favorite is the white, too. I think my favorite would be the gray if it was glossy. Yeah. Uh, or, or satin, but this is extremely cool. I think we need to do further testing on this, but for the moment, that's a really cool experiment. Um, hey, if you've experimented with graphite powder to, to create a metal finish, please let us know how that went in the comments below. Look, check out our hands, man. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of the, let's, uh, let's clean up first. Then get rid of the gloves and call it a night. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Once again, I'm Trevor. This is Whistler. You've been watching Love Make Share. I hope you've been inspired. Now, go make something. <laughs>